Hello, fellow producer. This is Onesto, and today we're looking at Noir. It's a piano plugin from Native Instruments. I've been having a lot of fun with this piano VST all week, but there's a few things that I think you'll want to know before buying Noir. There's a lot to cover, so let's just jump right in. All right, so who made Noir, um, and what's so special about it? So this plugin was made in collaboration with Native Instruments, Galaxy Instruments, and Niels Fromm. If you don't know who Niels is, that's totally all right. He's a pianist, he's a composer. Um, if you try listening to one of his tracks, you'll find that he's very emotional, very minimal. Um, it just has like really intimate, quiet sounding music. He had a really big role in making this piano plugin. He was really involved, extra meticulous about every single detail. He just wanted it to be perfect. So what you end up having is a nine foot grand piano. It's the Yamaha CSX. I don't really know what that means. I just know it's a beautiful sand piano. And then the other instrument is the same grand piano, but now it has some felt involved with it. And I didn't know this, um, but usually a felt piano is made with an upright piano. So um, having a grand piano that's felt is uh, unique. And one thing I love is that they use completely different sample sets between the pure grand and the felt grand. The other thing that's really special about Noir is something called the Particles Engine. This feature randomly generates texture and movement as you play. Native Instruments describes the Particles Engine as creating a rhythmic or abstract cloud of sound, and I think that's a really good way to think about it. I think it's beautiful, I think it's really interesting, um, and later in the video, I will give you all my thoughts about it. So let's talk about what I really like about Noir. The first thing is um, really obvious, and I'm sorry for bringing up the obvious, but this piano plugin sounds really good at sounding like a piano. I know it's a weird thing to mention, but as a piano player, whenever I get a piano plugin, the first thing I want to know is, does this sound good? Does this sound like a piano that I want to play and get my hands on? And as I mentioned before, Noir has two main libraries. They have their Pure and their Felt Grand Pianos. Uh, and Pure is great at sounding bright and it's just cutting through that mix. Here, uh, take a listen. So as you can hear, see it's really bright. Really bright, it's a really bright sounding pure piano. Um, it's lacking some of that low end, which is fine um, because this is the kind of piano I would reach for when I want it to cut through a mix, when I want it to kind of stand out and be more up front and kind of recede in the back. Now the felt piano on the other hand, this is my favorite. I, out of the two, I'm like all about this felt piano. It sounds so soft, gentle, intimate, vulnerable. Uh, fragile, I can just go on about it. So let's listen to this preset called Gentle Dark. All right, something else that I really like about Noir is that it's really easy to use and it's simple to navigate. The UI and the UX of this plugin is really solid. I think that even if you're new to the world of plugins or you're someone who just strictly just wants to play piano, doesn't want to know anything about plugins, you'll still be able to find your way around Noir. So with that said, the plugin still feels really simple. It's easy to use. You can dive under the hood if you want to tinker around and do some advanced um, settings, um, but you'll find that this plugin, this plugin wants you to play rather than focus on sound design, which I think is pretty refreshing. Okay, let's talk about the presets real quick. Um, I think the presets are really good at giving you a taste of what Noir can do. I made a video where I demoed out my favorite presets from Noir. I have a link in the description um, that you can see the full list of those presets. There's also a link to a video, uh, the video that I made about the presets. And here's the last thing I wanna brag about, which is um, I really like the reverb and delay models inside of Noir. And there's a lot of good options. In our IRC reverbs, you can choose from these different types of spaces. And then within that, there are a bunch of different options within each category. Yeah, there's tons of different, oh my gosh, reverb types, you know? So you can totally have at it there. And then delay, you'll see here that it's called replica delay. And I'm assuming that um, Native Instruments is using the replica delay um, plugin and just kind of paring it down for uh, Noir so you can do some cool stuff there. So you have five different delay models to choose from. The Fusion's pretty cool. I do like that one quite a bit, but I do have one beef with it, a pretty big beef with it. Um, and so let's move to the next section where I'm talking about things that I feel Noir could do better at. All right, so what could Noir improve upon? There's a few things. One is that I wish the controls in the advanced panels went a little deeper, especially when it comes to the EQ and compressor. So as you see here, the EQ, 
I have uh, three bands. Um, I don't really know much about what it's doing. Sure, I can adjust them. Uh, but when I am trying to fit this inside of a mix when I'm working on a track, um, I like to get a bit more precise with it. And then the compressor too, same thing. This like there's no controls for like threshold or uh, attack release. It's just simply um, amount of compression. And you have different settings here of that compressor. It's, I have to use my ears a whole lot. And even then I'm still making a little bit of a guess of what it's actually doing when it comes to the compressor, which is unfortunate. Now, couldn't I just ignore Noir's EQ and compressor and just use my own third party um, plugins? Of course I can do that, but this is where my beef with the delay and reverb inside of Noir uh, comes up. I probably won't be using the reverb and delay inside of Noir, even though I think they sound great. And this is the reason why, like if I'm going to be doing EQ and compression outside of Noir, then that means I'm also going to want to add reverb and delay outside of Noir, which means that I probably won't be using these great sounding reverb and delays inside of the plugin. So it's, it's a little bit of a shame, but then then again, if you're a musician who doesn't really care about fine-tuning EQ and, and compression inside of a piano, um, then you're good. Then like, don't worry about it, just go straight to that reverb and delay and have fun with it. There's one more thing that I'm a little annoyed with, and that's um, there's a lot of settings in here that I just don't know what's really going on. Do you know all these drop-down menus? Like, you know, all these compressor settings or all these um, style settings here, we have so many options, but I don't really know exactly what's going on, what to expect. Usually when you hover over something in other plugins, you might see like um, like a little like tip pop up that kind of gives you a quick bite of like what this thing does. Um, but that doesn't exist in this plugin. And it's such a bummer because you have a lot, like a lot of different options, like all these here. Like sure, I can select one, I can listen to it um, and just decide like hmm, maybe I'll like it or not. Um, but it's just so nice to know that when I hover over something, knowing exactly what's happening, knowing what to expect, um, it makes me want to use it some more because I feel less lost. I feel less like I'm guessing and more like I'm choosing. Now, before I go on to this video, if you feel like you're learning a whole lot about this plugin, like you're, uh, you're able to make a more informed decision on whether you should buy this thing or not, then please, um, consider liking this video. Okay. So is the big shtick of Noir any good? And what I'm referring to is the Particles engine. And here's my thoughts on this thing. I mean, what I really appreciate is that the Particles engine, it does what it is set out to do. You would think that it'd be really complicated or just like really difficult to use, but it really isn't. It's super simple to use. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll play some for you here. You can hear all that stuff. Yeah, so there's that texture. I mean, and by probably like if it's your first time seeing this Particles engine, it probably looks very, very complicated. Um, but it isn't, it's really simple. And I, I mean, honestly, if you just go through these controls, um, you'll get it. And, and it's, I'm really grateful that it's easy to, to pick up. So if you're someone who's looking for something like this for their compositions and their music, then this is perfect for you. However, when I ask myself, do I see myself reaching for the Particles engines on my future tracks. Um, right now, my answer is no. But you know what, fortunately, there's so much more to Noir than the Particles engine. Um, so I think it's fine. I think it's fine if this Particle engine is something great, but you just don't use because Noir is so much more than this one feature. Now, before I share if I think uh, Noir is worth it, let me just bring up the price. Noir at full price is $149 at Native Instruments. Uh, it's also included in the Complete 13 bundle, which if you haven't checked out, is a ridiculously huge amount of plugins for a discounted price. And at full price, $149, it isn't cheap. Um, if it's out of budget for you, then wait for a sale um, or consider saving up more money for the Complete 13 bundle because not only will you get Noir, you'll get dozens of other great instruments and effects from Native Instruments. Okay, now the big question we're all wondering, is this plugin worth it? Do I recommend it? Now, if I owned very few piano plugins, if this was like the first expensive-ish piano I was considering buying, then yeah, I think it's pretty worth it. I think you'll be even happier with it if you're looking for a piano that sounds uh, soft, warm, and intimate. But if I already owned a bunch of piano plugins um, and I already had a good bright piano, if I already had a good soft piano, then uh, this plugin, as great as it is, becomes a little bit less worth it because um, I don't, I'm not really sure what hole Noir would be filling in your piano arsenal. 
I guess the hole that I was feeling is that now I have access to a grand felt piano. That was something I did not have before, but now I have it. Um, and I think it sounds so good. So maybe, yeah, maybe it is much more worth it than I'm letting on. And I already mentioned that thing about the particles engine where um, it may or may not be very important to you to have access to something like that. Um, I'm happy that I have have it, um, but I, I, don't, I don't feel like it's this, uh, once again, like this thing that I'm always gonna be reaching for or wanna use. So if it helps, I have all of the Native Instruments pianos, except for Alicia's keys, um, but Noir is my favorite, hands down. So I guess in conclusion, yeah, I, I recommend Noir, um, but depending on what you already own, what your needs are, um, you'll just have to decide if it's right for you. And that's what you should know about Noir before you buy it. Um, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out. Hope I can see you again in the future. Later.